check it, please? A photographer with an eye for beauty. Okay, great. Let's do one more. <laughs> nice looking lady. Your wife? Yes. Why'd you ask? A man of wealth who lives through books. Charles knows everything. Got a question to ask him. I seem to retain all these facts, but put them to any useful purpose is another matter. Each the essence of the civilized man. Well, Charles, we're going on an impromptu adventure. You come too. Well, all that money, never knowing what people value you for. I think your wife's pretty cute too. So, how are you planning to kill me? Hold on! <laughs> But when civilization disappears... Why do we even think they'll come looking for us? Our friend's a billionaire. You know what happens when you misplace one? Why? All they have is each other to rely on. Most people lost in the wilds, they die of shame because they didn't do the one thing which would have saved their lives. Thinking. Their will to survive. <laughs> and the question... Why would I want to kill you, Charles? Why would I want to do that? For my life. ...of where the greatest danger lies. Saved my life. Well, I couldn't kill you with Steven around. I'd have to kill him too, and he's the only one that knows how I like my coffee. What are we gonna do, Charles? Well, am I supposed to have a plan? Rich man, all anybody wants is take something from you when they want it bad enough to kill you. You and my wife? I've seen you with her. 20th Century Fox presents Academy Award winner Anthony Hopkins. You want to die out here, huh? Alec Baldwin. Money's folk. Sit up there, drinks and golf, but get you in an emergency. Fine. And you bloom. You make me sick. I'm sure I do. Somewhere between the law of the wild and the nature of man lies the edge. I'm not gonna die. It's today. I'm gonna kill them. When they locked up Simon Cartwright, they thought he'd never be able to kill again. But some things cannot be contained. Mr. Cartwright, I'm Dr. Schumacher. Do you know why I'm here? Now, an outsider will decide his fate. Your patient has requested an independent assessment. He requested me. <laughs> Simple as that. But before she can, she must descend... I enjoyed killing. <laughs> ...into his world. Good night, Karen. A world of pain. Let's talk about your childhood. You mean my mum. And fear. Don't you understand? <laughs> How did you feel when you killed her? I felt free. Tortured. <laughs> Torn and twisted into existence. He's drawing you in. He thinks he is. And there she will come face to face with the ugly. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs>